Hello LEGO engineers. I am so excited to show you the project I've been working on this past week. This right here engineers is a solar powered LEGO car. Okay now as you can see it has room for two passengers in the back and then if I flip it around here okay this is our solar panel on top here which can convert the energy from solar rays into electricity so it, the electricity travels through this wire right here and it links up to the motor on our car and then you can see here we have a gear system that's attached to this motor okay we have one tiny eight tooth gear right here and then two of our medium sized gears okay so when this gear spins up here it spins this gear which spins that gear which is attached to our rear axle okay you'll notice that it only has one wheel on the front okay that's to help reduce friction so there's less pieces that are touching the ground to help it move a little bit faster okay and you'll notice that i have it here in the shade because watch what happens the second we bring it out into the sun those gears start turning okay and it turns our rear wheel our rear axle which has our two wheels attached to it okay so i'm gonna put it back under the shade okay now we know it works okay but we're gonna do a test to see which wheels will help make it move the fastest okay so right now we have these wheels in the back we're gonna leave the front wheel the same in all of our tests but right now we have these wheels in the back we're gonna try out these skinnier wheels, which are the same size, the same circumference, but obviously a lot skinnier than the other ones, okay? And then lastly, we're gonna try these big oversized jumbo wheels, okay? Now before we do our test, I want you to make a guess. I want you to think which wheels are gonna help our solar powered car travel the fastest, okay? So I want you to think about that Okay, and while you do that, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna perform this test, okay? So over here in the sunlight, I have a tape measure here, and this tape measure is exactly 10 feet long. Okay, you can see right there, it says 120 inches. Okay, engineers, 120 inches is exactly 10 feet. So we're gonna make sure it's in a nice straight line there we go okay I have a stopwatch here okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to set the car so that the nose of the car is right at the start of the 10-foot marker right like that okay and then when I move okay it'll move my shadow and the car is gonna start rolling okay engineers and then once it starts rolling I'm gonna start my stopwatch and we're gonna measure just how long it takes for it to travel 10 feet. Okay, so ready, one, two, three. So when the nose of it gets to the end, we're gonna stop it. All right, engineers, that one, we're gonna put our car down under here. All right, engineers, that one was exactly 12 seconds, okay? So now I'm gonna put the, the other wheels on and then we'll do our next test. All righty, engineers, we are back. As you can see, we have my skinny wheels, okay, that are on the back of the car now. We have the same medium-sized wheels in the front. So we're gonna leave it in the shade right there. We're gonna put the front of the car right at the 10-foot marker. We've got our stopwatch ready. Okay, once I start to stand up, I'm gonna turn it on. Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds again, scientists. All right, let's see what happens with our third test. Alrighty, scientists, we are back. We have our big wheels attached to our rear axle. We're gonna set it up right at the 10 foot marker. Try to make sure it's pointed as straight as can be. We have our stopwatch on. Ready, let's see how long it takes. Nine seconds scientists 
was that was that faster or slower than the other versions okay now I want to show you do one more test run on the way back as you can see our car will go and then the second shade hits it it stops okay so it needs constant constant sunlight because remember it doesn't have a battery attached to it it's not using our energy meter so that means if there's if sunlight isn't hitting the panel, it's not creating any electricity and it will stop instantly. Okay, that's why any car that uses solar energy also has a battery so that even when it's cloudy outside, it can keep rolling using electricity that's in battery. Okay, thank you for doing this test with me, scientists.